doing today. We're going to work with a prenatal in yoga practice that will help to release anxiety from the body today. Anxiety is an emotion that can influence your life in general, even if you're not pregnant. This can be really disturbing for you and especially for your baby. Your baby can feel whatever you feel. And if you're feeling anxious, if you're really an anxious person, when you're pregnant, this anxiety can build up and even be more than what you usually feel before. Anxiety is something that it's not very nice to feel. So if you're feeling anxiety during your pregnancy, you need to try to move this anxiety away from your body and give space for joy and inspiration. Anxiety can be disturbing for you, for your baby, and it can also affect your baby, your relationship with life, your relationship with other people, and also it will affect labor for sure. All these emotions like anxiety, fear, grief can affect labor and your baby will be feeling as well. Let's do this practice today to remove and to release anxiety from the body, giving space for joy and inspiration. So let's start. We're going to sit on a cross leg position or easy pose, one foot in front of the other if that feels good to you, or if you prefer, you can sit with your legs extended. Try to sit on something. I'm sitting on a yoga block like this, or you can sit on a cushion, or you can sit on a blanket, a folded blanket or two folded blankets to help to elevate your hips a little in order for your spine to be elongated. I'm going to start with my legs extended. So feel free to have your legs extended or your legs crossed if you prefer. So you're gonna bring your hands to your belly now and you're going to inhale and exhale through your nose to tune into your breath and tune into your body, tuning into yourself now, keeping your jaw relaxed and your tongue relaxed inside your mouth. your feet so you feel the stretch under your legs behind your legs on the breath now you can open your eyes if you like to and you're going to start circling big circles you can hold your belly have your hands on your thighs or have your hands on the floor if that feels better to you. We're going to breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Now the sound is H-A. <sighs> this breath helps to release anxiety from the body. <sighs> Giving space for joy and inspiration. And then we're going to turn to the opposite direction now. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out the sound. And once more. Great, coming back to stillness. Right hand on the floor, inhale through the nose and exhale, the left arm goes up. You can either look up or look down, whatever feels better to you. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose here. Three breaths. Coming to the opposite side now, left hand on the floor, Right arm goes up, either looking up or looking down. 
Remember to listen to your body. If you need to keep your arm down, that's totally fine. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Keeping your jaw relaxed. Coming back to neutral now. We're going to do a gentle twist. Right hand in front of your body, left hand behind. Looking towards your left side or over your left shoulder, in through the nose and out through the nose. Bring your hand to your leg if you prefer. A little bit more of a deep twist. Coming back to center and let's do the other side. Hand in front of the body, the other hand behind or hand on your thigh, if that feels better to you. Looking over your right shoulder, breathe deeply. Three breaths. Great, coming back to center now. And we're going to go into a kneely position. We're going to go into with our knees on the floor now. Now you can grab a blanket and you can fold a blanket and bring under your knees to give a little bit more cushioning for your knees or you can fold your mat to give a little bit more cushioning for your knees. Hands on the floor, hands are under your shoulders, knees are hip distance apart, point the toes, just stay here on tabletop for one or two breaths and when you're ready you're going to look up and arch your back as you inhale and as you exhale, HA again, the sound. <sighs> tuck your chin in, tuck your table in, and round your back. Let's do this on your own pace and time. As you inhale, look up and arch. As you exhale, round your back and <sighs> inhale through your nose, look up and arch. And as you exhale, the sound. <sighs> Releasing anxiety from the body. Inhale, look up and arch. <sighs> Once more. back to neutral and you're going to start circling now. If you need to bring your hands a little bit further away from your body, that's totally fine. If you need to bring your knees a little bit wider, a little bit more separate, that's totally fine too. Circling is really good and it's a great way to release tension from the lower back and from your groins. Relax your neck or you can do circles with your neck as well if that feels right for you. And then you're going to go to the other direction with your hips and with your neck if you prefer doing the neck circles or you can just relax your neck down. Relaxing your jaw, feeling your body, is a great movement for you to do during labor as well. Keep circling during labor is so important. And then coming back to neutral. You can adjust the position of your hands and knees. Now bring your hands under your shoulders and you're going to swing the table from one side to the other. And you can breathe in through the nose and breathe out the sound. You can also Move your neck from one side to the other and imagine your spine is like a snake. <sighs> Breathing out the sound with your mouth. Releasing anxiety and giving space for joy and inspiration. Two more breaths. Coming back to a neutral position, 
Now we're going to sit in your hero position, shoulders are back and away from your ears. You're going to bring your hands behind your back now, fingers are pointing forward. Knees are together if it's okay for you. Open your chest, so here we're working on a chest opening, opening your heart chakra, your heart energy center. So anxiety starts at least happening in the heart. So we're opening this area in through the nose and when you exhale through the mouth you're going to lift your hips up if that feels good to you if not that's totally fine to keep it down inhale lower the hips exhale the sound as you lift your hips up or keep your hips down no problem inhale bring your hips down and exhale, you can keep your hips down if that feels better to you, or lift your hips up. Great, we're going to do this once more. Inhale, lower down. Exhale. Coming down once more. And back to neutral. Roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. Shake your hands, shake your arms. Releasing any tension that is there and helping to move energy through the body as well. We're going to bring your hands to the floor once more and we're going to go from the tabletop, from cat stretch, we're going to go to downward dog. So inhale, look up and arch. And as you exhale the sound ha again, you're going to go into downward dog. But if downward dog doesn't work for you, you can just keep doing the cat and cow position. So you're going to stretch and arch your back as you inhale, tuck your toes in if that feels okay for you. Feet are neck distance apart and you're going to push through your hands and come into a downward dog. Neck is relaxed and exhale. Bring one heel to the floor at a time. Breathing deeply, feel your body. Make sure your feet are not together here. You can move a little bit more if you want to, you can move even more, doing, bending your knees a little bit more. If you need to come to the floor with your knees on the floor, that's totally fine too. Neck is relaxed, keep breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, bring both knees to the floor once more, point the toes, inhale, look up and arch. Exhale, tuck your toes in, breathing out. Downward dog, inhale, bring both knees to the floor, point the toes, look up and arch, exhale, downward dog again, take your toes in and breathe out, great, we're going to do this once more, knees on the floor as you inhale, point the toes, look up and arch, and exhale again, take your toes in, push through your hands, Neck is relaxed here. That's okay if you couldn't do the downward dog. You can just stay on cat cow. We're going to walk your hands to your feet now or your feet to your hands. You can take away the blanket now. And slowly you're going to start coming up. Doing figure eight with your hands as you come up. Small figure eights and big figure eights remembering that by doing figure eights on your field, you're strengthening your auric field. That it's made with figure eights and you're strengthening this field that it's a protection around your body. If you could see energies, you would be able to see many figure eights on the seventh layer of your aura. They're called Celtic weave. You can do it on the back as well. And you can also do with your hips like a belly dancing. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Once more. Moving the figure eights to the front and back of your body, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to go and do another practice that's really, really good to release that anxiety from the body. So you're going to stand in Tadasana with feet a little bit wider than your hips. 
going to bring your hands to your thighs now, roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. Knees are soft or knees are bent. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale again, and as you exhale the sound, you're going to bring your arms up above your head and your fingers are going to be together in a pyramid position and you're going to bring your hands on top of your head, connecting with your crown chakra and you're going to exhale again. One more breath in through the nose and exhale through your mouth. Arms go down as you inhale and as you exhale, bring your arms up again. Now your thumbs go to your third eye, connecting to the sixth energy center, your intuition. One more breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Hands down and as you inhale, arms go up above your head and bring your hands into this pyramid position and the thumbs go to your heart center now. One more breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last one, hands go down and up as you inhale. And exhale, thumbs go to your navel now. Flat your hands on your belly now. Roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. Three more breaths here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more breaths. Connecting with your baby with your womb chakra, your second energy center. One more breath. Stay here with your eyes closed. You can keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth if that feels good to you. Or just you can switch the breath in through the nose and out through the nose now. Bringing some gratitude and appreciation in your life now. Thinking about something that you appreciate in your life. Bringing thoughts of appreciation about your day, about your life, about your body, about who you are. When you bring gratitude and appreciation to your life, you're able to feel more compassion for yourself, for your life, for your baby, and for others around you. Think about something that brings joy to you as well. Or if you just want to concentrate on gratitude, that's totally fine. When we're grateful for things and truly feel gratitude, Joy enters our body and there's no space for anxiety. We're ending our practice today. You can stay here for as long as it feels good to you in this meditation state. And keep meditating throughout your day today about things that make you feel joy about things that you're grateful for and that you appreciate in your life. Feel empowered. Feel peace and love for yourself. Slowly can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.